Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve question 30, which is based on identifying metal centers of the metalloenzymes. That is, which is the central metal that we have to identify. So these are the metals that are given P, Q, R, S. We have to find out in which of the metalloenzyme these metals are present. So let us see one by one. This is which, which structure. This is the structure of coenzyme B12. Okay, so this is this is a basic framework of the vitamin B related compounds or complexes. So here you can see it is what cobalt. Coenzyme B12 has cobalt. Next is this is which enzyme? This is protein part of the enzyme. So this is which metalloenzyme? This is called as carboxypeptidase carboxypeptidase so you can see from the name itself ace means to break okay, lyase or ace means to break and peptid peptid means peptide bonds so this is a metalloenzyme which breaks what which breaks the peptide bonds what is peptide bonds it is the amide linkage present in where it is present in amino acids okay, amino acid in, it is present in polypeptides Okay, polypeptides combine to form what they combine to form proteins okay so this is carboxypeptidase which is the metal it is zinc next is nitrate reductase in nitrate reductase the very complex enzyme so this is the block diagram of the enzyme the thing that we have to understand is the metal here is what molybdenum molybdenum okay in nitrate reductase and this is which compound this is cytochrome this is cytochrome p450 and what is the metal here it is iron okay and this is a very very important list you can see metal all the different metals are given and in which compounds they are present that is also given and what is the function of that particular metalloenzyme or that particular compound that is given so this is a very important table that you can remember okay, there it is a lot of information so you can try to remember at least a few of them which are the most common ones okay now let us see the question back again b12 enzyme we saw just now it is what it has cobalt cobalt co carboxypeptidase has zinc Okay, nitrate reductase it is a molybdase enzyme we have seen just now so it has molybdenum okay cytochrome p450 we saw just now it has iron and tyrosinase it is an enzyme which has what which has copper okay so based on the answers we can match now p copper p is what Copper is present where? Copper is present in tyrosinase. Okay, Q. Molybdenum is present where? It is present in nitrate reductase, that is 3. Then R, that is cobalt. Cobalt is present in B12 coenzyme. And S. S is zinc. Zinc is present in carboxypeptidase. Okay, so 5312. 5312, the correct answer is option A. Okay, this is a question for one mark. So, okay, you can also use the elimination method. Okay, you can also use the elimination method to answer this question. Suppose you don't know some enzymes like nitrate reductase or tyrosinase. These are new names, okay, which we generally don't study. Okay, but there are some common ones like B12 coenzyme. Everybody knows that what is a metal present? It is cobalt. So, for R, it is 1. Okay, you can see for R it is what? For R it is 1. So check where R for R it is 1 in option A and B. This is 5 and 2. So C and D are incorrect. So two options are eliminated. And another very common enzyme that we study together is carbonic anhydrase. Okay, carbonic anhydrase. This is used for hydrolysis of hydrolysis of CO2 
that means water and co2 combine to form h2co3 that is carbonic acid okay hydrolysis means reaction of water reaction with water hydrolysis of co2 means reaction of carbon dioxide with water what we get carbonic acid h2co3 and in carbonic anhydrase zinc is present along with this carbonic anhydrase what we study is carboxypeptidase okay we saw just now it is used to break peptide bonds okay it breaks or cleaves peptide bonds this also has zinc so if you knew that zinc is present in carboxy peptidase that is only two of the elements if you knew you could have solved the answer now check s s is what s is 2 so in which option s is 2 only a in here you, you can see it is s is 3 so b option is incorrect so in this way you can also use the method of elimination i hope you have understood the solution so this was a very theory based question if you knew the answer you can mark oh, okay it was a it was given in the section of msq that is multiple select question although only one answer was correct that that is some point that you have to understand that msq means one or more than one okay one or more than one correct answer okay so sometimes like in this question there is only one answer that is correct but still you can see option options okay that means they have put in the section of msq although there is only one answer that is correct okay so this was a theory based question you can use the method of elimination thank you